hi everyone in today's video i'm sharing with you guys how i framed my plants or rather my leaves from my plants so i hope you enjoy the video and i hope you get inspired to create something awesome i'm going to use three of them and then i have my fake plants you can also do this with real plants but then you need to dry them so that all the moisture comes out but if you do that uh, sometimes the real plants will fade so I'm just going to use these plants here that I had the leaves that I had left over from a previous project and I want to do something interesting with these leaves I don't want them to be just the way they are so I'll show you that as the video progresses yeah, so I have four of my leaves. I think the first one I'm going to use it as an example to see how the rest turn out. So there's this leaf called, um, there's this leaf that normally has like holes in it. They call it the Swiss cheese plant or another name for it is Monstera. So I think once I'm finished with it, you'll be able to recognize it. So this is going to be my example. This is going to be my the one I'm going to use for my example. So that we'll see if it backfires. But I still have three more that I intend to do for the final project. So yeah. I'm using only my pair of scissors. I'm going to use it to cut through my leaves. You can skip this step if if you don't like it you can skip it and then I have my knife <laughs> I'm supposed to be using um, a better tool for this but it's the middle of the night I can't find my tools and I'm also trying to show you guys you know just something you can do even if you don't have professional tools so my knife is just for cutting this part so that it lies flat on my frame otherwise it will be protruding which is not a very big deal, but I just want it to lie flat. So, yeah. I'm going to start by cutting out my leaf. You know, I just want to see. I'm just going to follow these lines here. And, um, you know. Everybody gets high sometimes, you know What else can we do when we're feeling low? So take a deep breath and let it go You shouldn't be drowning on your own And if you feel you're sinking, I will jump right over and say cold, cold So in case you're wondering where I got these leaves from, I got them as a whole plant from uh, House of Leather. And then I just had like four leaves left and I just decided to use them for this project. So the whole plant was 1,500. If you've watched my four plant video, that's the plant that I had. So now I'm just being careful as I cut out the calves. I'm just following the marks that I made with my pen. And I'm just rotating this. I think this will also be easy if you do it with the if you do it with the um, razor blade. Let me see how it will look. So I went ahead and finished um, cutting this plant. 
it's somehow very close to what I wanted but I'm not so sure if I should continue cutting them or if I should just leave them so I think I'll go ahead and frame them and then see how it looks if it looks better this way then I will maybe later on come back and cut the rest but for now let me frame this one and see what they look like so my leaf has a stalk at the back and I want it to lie flat so I'm just going to cut out this part of it with my knife and then put it in the frame this is a soft plastic so it's easy to cut so I'm just going to cut the three of them I'm being very careful because I'm always cutting my fingers like I have marks of cuts everywhere but I'm so lucky it always heals so well that I even forget which side of you know which finger that I cut so yeah be careful with sharp tools okay so I've removed the stalks and then the next step is just to frame them so I have these frames um, it's just the normal picture frames and it just comes okay well it comes looking like this packaged and all so I already removed this one from the package and um, what I plan to do is just put the plant here put it at the center and then i'm going to use this um, piece of paper that came with the frame so i'm just going to use the white side so it's the white side that is going to be visible because i'm working from the back of the frame and then i'll just put this And then just put back the back of my frame so this is the back of my frame which goes here so it comes with these clips just for putting it back just press them down I'm pressing them tight so that my plant doesn't move yeah so that's what the one that I cut look like so let me go ahead and frame these other ones so this is my frame and then I'll just remove this Packaging. That's the second one, and then I'll frame the third one.
So I'm done framing my plants. The middle one is the one that I cut and then the ones on the side. I don't know, guys, can you comment below and tell me which one looks better? Should I go ahead and cut the other two or should I just not do the cuts? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me, which one do you like more? The one with the cut or the one without? So ideally, these three would just go on the, on the wall. Yeah, so that's how you frame your plants. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be having more of this kind of videos every week. Of course, something different every week, something awesome, something very creative so if you like this kind of videos please hit the subscribe button thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video next week bye this week's giveaway are two metal lampshades that come with two edison bulbs all you need to do to win is send me a picture of where you want to put the lampshades on my Instagram and we'll have one lucky winner. Thank you and good luck.